I'm Eric Kane. Today I'm going to show you part one of our two-part video series on strip-on hose and torque. First, let's discuss the top three ways to identify the number one killer for all strip-on metal hoses, torque. Be sure to check out part two for my top three tips on how to combat torque in your strip-on hoses. Strip-on hoses get their name from their manufacturing method. A single strip of steel is rolled over on top of itself to form a continuous length of flexible hose. Unlike other flexible hoses, their flexibility is mechanical, meaning that the profile in the strip is what allows it to flex, as opposed to other hose types, which is the material itself that allows it to bend. This means that while the hose is extremely rugged in service, the whole length can be susceptible from damage from torque. Once the strip is profiled and wound up to make the hose, outside forces can often want to unwind it and make the hose fail. So the first and simplest step is a visual inspection. All manufacturers can provide what's called either a flow arrow or a lay line painted on the outside of the hose. It's always going to be straight when it leaves the factory. So if you look at your hose and it starts to look like a candy cane or a barber pole down the length, you know that the hose has seen some torque. So the second test that we can do is what we call the coil drop test. Strip-on hoses are very rugged, especially when they're brand new. I've got two different samples here to illustrate my point. One is looser and has seen some torque, and the other is a new sample. So if you put the hose on the ground, and cool it up to a 90 degree bend. If it falls over and can't support itself under its own weight, the hose is obviously seeing some torque. If I do the same thing with my newer sample, it stays where I bend it. So this one's obviously still good, the other one probably needs to be replaced. A third quick test that you can do is a simple measurement of the OD, or the outer diameter of the hose. Because the hose is a single strip of steel, as it's twisted, the torsion can be displaced over the entire length. As the hose twists on itself, the profile begins to grow and blow up. Every good hoser carries a pie tape, or an OD tape, on them at all times. This allows us to measure the outer diameter of the hose when we can't put a standard measuring tape over the end because of an installation or because of the fittings. Take the tape and measure around the circumference of the hose, and if the OD is greater than a half inch larger than the ID, you can safely say that the hose has been torqued. If you're experiencing any problems with torque in your strip-on hoses, be sure to give us a call or send us an email. We'd be happy to give you a hand. 